So we want to simplify this ratio, 4 and a half to 2 and 2 fifths. Now, if we remember what this, what this means, so we could see this as 4 and 1 half divided by 2 and 2 fifths, right? So this is really a, a division problem. That's what these ratios are. It's all about division. But the problem that I'm going to have here is how do I do this division with mixed numbers? How are we supposed to have done that on the third test? Oh, okay. So when you say multiply and add, you're talking about go from a mixed number to the improper fraction. Okay. <laughs> so how do I do that? How do I convert four and a half to an improper fraction? Nine. Two times four plus one, so we get what? Nine, Nine halves. What about two and two fifths? You get twelve fifths, right? And when I, the reason I convert them to, to them, the reason I convert them to improper fractions is because now I can do a fraction divided by a fraction. How do you divide a fraction by a fraction? So keep the first guy, flip the second guy, five twelfths, and change to multiplication, right? Yeah, remember, we're going to be smart about this. We try to reduce before I multiply. There's no sense in multiplying and getting large numbers when you're just going to have to reduce later. How can I reduce first? Three, three. three goes into both of these guys. So three goes in here three times, and then to 12, four times. So what do I end up with? I end up with 15 over eight. So going back to this original question up here, my ratio of four and one half to two and two fifths reduces to what ratio? Fifteen to eight. That's how it reduces. Are you guys with me on that? Okay. So, and here's a good application for this problem. If you are a small time baker and you have a certain ratios of your ingredients and it's four and a half to two and two fifths, and suppose you're talking about cups, all right? That's an easy enough ratio to worry about on our own. But if you want to scale this and you want to do something that's <coughs> on, a, on a huge scale, mass production, right? Doing this ratio every time may not be useful. You may want to look at it as a ratio of 15 to eight. So maybe now you're not talking about cups to cups, you're talking about, you know, I don't know, 15,000 cups to 8,000 cups. Or, you know, pounds to pounds, tons to tons. Something where it's a little bit more manageable when you're talking about on a um, larger scale. Now, sometimes you have to be very tricky. If I give you the ratio of eighteen inches to four feet. This is the ratio that I'm giving you. I want to be able to simplify this. So how might I write this? I need to do what? Oh, 18 inches over 4 feet? I mean, this is the same thing as saying 18 inches over 4 feet, but here's a, an issue that we're going to have here. Unit. Unit, units are very important, right? And when we talk about ratio, ratios must be the same unit. Inches and feet are not the same unit. That means I need to do a conversion here. Now, is it going to be easier to convert this inches into feet 
or to convert this feet into inches? Feet into inches. Convert the feet into inches, right? Now you can almost see this as being multiplication here. Here's why I want you to see this multiplication. Because this is four times, what's the conversion? One foot is equal to what? 12 inches. So when I write it like this, as multiplication, it's easy to see how I convert this. So four feet is the same as what? 48 inches. So now that I'm comparing inches to inches, I don't need to worry about the units because I'm matching these guys up exactly. And how can I reduce 18 over 48? What's the GCF? What's the grace coma factor? Three is okay. We can go better than that. Six. Six goes into 18. Three times, and six goes into 48. Eight times. So 18 inches to 3 feet is actually the ratio of 3 to 8. Do you all agree? All right. Now, because I told you that I would share this ratio to you, because I, not that I'm one who cooks, but this is a great ratio that I've learned from my father-in-law. This is for making honey mustard. Now, some of you may not like honey mustard, and I'm really sorry for you. Maybe you're like me. When I was much younger, I would not put honey mustard on my salads. I would stick to things like A1 and Heinz 57. So, oh yeah, Heinz 57 on salad is really good. A little bit of tang, you know what I mean? Not Here's the thing, it's four to one to one, but you have to know what these are for. What you need to understand, first of all, is that we're talking about a ratio, right? And with ratios, that means that all these guys have the same units. That means if you're doing cups, it's gonna be four cups to one cup to one cup. If you're talking about tablespoons, four tablespoons to one to one. All right, sounds like you're, now that is interesting for, uh, alarm tone. So here it is. It's four units of, can I make sure I say this right so you don't go home and make this and go, Mr. Craig, it was horrible. <laughs> it's four units of mayonnaise to one unit of mustard to one unit of honey. That's all it is. Now, that's not quite all. Um, plus some, uh, this is the brand we use, Frank's Hot Sauce to taste. So a few drops in there just adds a little bit to it, and that's all it is. I mean, don't like start dousing it in Frank's Hot Sauce, but a little bit, and you taste it, and you get it to be just where you want it to be. That's a, and it's, it's a ratio. This is a ratio that you know, my in-laws use, and they taught me this ratio. Just like I have my own little ratio for whenever I go and if I, want to, if I want to make chili, I've got the ratio that goes through my mind. It's 4 2 one, one. Mister, what, What's 4 2 one, one? Okay, now people may harass me and put bad comments on my YouTube channel, but I don't really care. When I do chili, I go 4 2 one, one. And this means 4 four cans of beans, you know, whether it's kidney, pinto, I like to throw in black just for fun. I can't find red beans. I like having red beans in there. To two cans of tomato sauce. Of course, if you're shopping, you can get one large can, it's the same thing. To one pound of meat. To one uh, packet of One packet of seasoning. Now again, I have, we have recipes to make our own chili seasoning and taco seasoning, so that's what we use. But when I'm shopping, I'm like, okay, how do we do this again? Four, two, one, one. Now, and when I do my pound of meat, 
I don't mind having a little bit more than a pound because I like to have extra meat. And this does not include anything like, you know, Fritos or cheese or rice or whatever things you're going to have on the side. I'm hungry. <laughs> we should quit the video.